terribly sad for Sussex. King Charles deploys his ultimate weapon against Harry and Meghan, next. Don't be shocked by this attack, at this point one of the monarch's most reliable people is probably the only one who can put an end to the theatrics between Harry and Meghan and the royal family for good. Okay, so a royal source says today that there is only one senior working royal who can put an end to Harry and Meghan's drama with the royal family for good. Lives would be that of Princess Anne. She is described as the nuclear option by a royal source. In other words, the answer to all the royal family's problem. Says this source, Princess and will be the one to write the letter to Parliament pleading for them to strip Harry of his titles and and is next in line of succession and she will also pen the request to have titles removed from his wife and any of his heirs should be petitioned against as well. Only and could write these pleas and they be believed and and would also head the process to legally challenge their new website name and contents and also the outrageous surname change to that of their current holding company, which is predicted to cause monumental problems long term. I absolutely believe this Princess Royal would do it and I'm sure she's been in on all of it up to here more than anyone else, maybe behind all these experts can see. Princess and is about as unassuming, nice, kind, warm, caring human being as you would ever come across. And she is also very, very caring. And she cares about the rules, and she really follows in her mother's footsteps in that way. She does believe in the traditions of the monarchy. She does believe in the protocols. And so, I said right at the very beginning of this whole Harkle debacle. If Meghan had been told that from day one of their engagement that Princess and was going to help her, I don't think that marriage would ever have taken place. Or Harry and Meghan would have been long gone I think a long time ago by now. But Cian cares so much about the preservation of the monarchy that her mother did that she, it's not so, it's not so emotional for her. And for William and for Charles, the Sussex problem is really nothing but emotional. They are just too close to him and so they can't see it. They can't see it clearly. And she, she is also removed from that sort of the direct barge of emotions. So she can do what needs to be done. She, she, you know she's been referred to in the past as the firm's secret weapon and for good reason. What she, what she said, and yes hurt Harry and Meghan when she they, they really went for it. You know when they said that, oh the monarchy needs to be refreshed. The princess royal is like, well what's the point of reinventing the wheel? And I, and I wholeheartedly agree with her. And so, I wholeheartedly concur that princess and is the very best person to be able to deal with Harry and Meghan and to put them in their place. Frankly, I think the two of them deserve each other, don't you? MMNPH. She has inherited all the worst from both her mother and her father. So I do hope that the secret weapon is going to come in and do what needs to be done with Harry and Meghan once and for all. It's time for this whole facade to come to an end. And no, Harry's not going to be welcomed back to the royal fold. And no, Meghan Markle is never going to be welcomed back to the UK. And the secret weapon, I'm afraid Camilla and William are going to have to stop all of this. I can understand that maybe the king, as a father, wants his son Harry back in the family, but at the same time, he's got to realize Harry and Meghan cannot be trusted, and he cannot put the monarchy at risk by having Harry running around and telling all kinds of lies. So at this point, he needs to make a decision, and maybe he can just send his sister, Princess Anne, to tell them to put a stop to all their antics, end the childish behavior, and go live the private, peaceful lives they claim they wanted. And if King Charles want to somehow reconcile with the two of them, then he can do that on a private, personal level. Everything else should be off the table. They've just done too much, they've told too many lies, and they have insulted too many people. The trust can no longer be there. Most expensive clothing, all kinds of fake hair, fake teeth, and that fake rictus grin most definitely do not help matters. Okay, two seconds, two seconds. Charles is now the monarch. He's the head of the firm. Now, when they were growing up, Prince William and Prince Harry were treated equally as much as could possibly be. For example, the king sent Harry to Eton, even though he wasn't really Eton material. Now, Eton took him because of who he was, Lord, 
because of that title attached to his name. What has Harry ever really accomplished, though, by himself? Invictus. Let's be real here, Invictus was created by Philip, and it was given to Harry so that he would have something to keep him busy. And now Charles isn't well. All the anxieties from Harry and Meghan not going to help his recovery any. So he has to do this. If he doesn't, for the sake of the monarchy, if not for the sake of the monarchy, for his own health, banish them for good. I mean, make Parliament retract Sussex titles and do it immediately. Meghan doesn't want to see him well again. She gets rid of him, she's one step closer to being queen, and that's her ultimate goal. Her, or one of her invisible children. For crying out loud, has this woman ever done a kind thing for any person, any time? I say no, I say no. She just destroys everybody's life she ever comes into contact with. You ask Jessica Maroney. Used to be Megan's best friend. Well, that relationship doesn't exist anymore. Want to know why? Because Megan, from what I hear, was awful to Jessica's three children. What's with this woman and her short pants and bare legs? They don't belong under a skirt, even in the UK, even in Canada, except maybe in the middle of the summer. I don't know, I guess it's easier to open and close your legs. Virginal White, how cheeky was that at the wedding, come on. The Queen's face, I mean, the look on her face said it all, didn't it? What exactly is virginal about Meghan Markle? King Charles, now's the time. Banish them. I would love it if the two of them just would get to go live their lives in the States or wherever they want to be and just leave the royal family in peace really, quite frankly, leave the rest of us alone, but they're never going to give up their titles are they? Because that's the only thing they've got going for them Meghan is never going to let those titles go. I suspect even by the time they divorce, it's hardly if it's not when, she's going to do whatever she can to hang on to Duchess isn't she, I mean even thought technically she won't be a Duchess any longer, she'll do whatever she can to make people keep calling her that. Just study her history of interviews, she herself categorized herself as a fraud. She talked about how she's lied, she schemed to get a gig. Remember her membership of the Screen Actors Guild, the American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, absolutely out of her head as was shown. And by the way she's now been banned from that she's got a history of this, of misleading people do you honestly think Meghan Markle is about to stop using those skills? Another huge issue I have with Meghan is that she tries to play the part of this kind, caring person. She can teach all of us how to be better people teach all of us how we should act. But she won't even pick up the phone. Phone to check on her. Ailing older father. Make peace with him once and for all. No respect for her. And Harry just seems to be under her spell. He doesn't even know up from down anymore. But listen, that fight about Meghan Markle being a princess doesn't mean anything to any of us. She's not going to get anything. She can be called anything she wants. But the fact that they are done as of March 31st, when the entire world knows Great Britain has severed its ties with its association. America, we can deal with it. Me included. That Meghan and Harry aren't important here either. I'm not worried about what they are going to do here. There's no way Harry and Meghan can salvage their reputations. They've already been exposed as a couple of liars. They're one in the toilet reputation. So, they got to find some new deals to try and support themselves. I mean, a few charitable events here, and then. That's hardly any proof of that you're trustworthy. William's also not the one who goes to the media and trash Harry publicly. It's Harry who does that. He has trashed William, he has trashed Catherine, carried on countless times through the past few years. I mean, through his own book and his interviews, and podcasts, leaks Omid Scobie. Harry called William his arch-nemesis, and he said that William's looks are fading because he's losing his hair. Harry, have you looked in the mirror? Harry also trashed William's marriage to Catherine and criticized his parenting. He acted like William and Catherine weren't really in love. I mean, as he looked in the mirror. 
they're just, at the end of the day, they're just, they're trying to make money you know. When Harry and Meghan said that you know, William and King Charles are trapped, I couldn't help but laugh. Come on, Harry. It looks to me like you're the one who's trapped with that narcissistic which you married. The Royal Family The Royal Family also moved on from all of this drama well, by moving on and ignoring whatever kind of nonsense comes from California. They've done just fine in showing that they don't really, that they don't really think that this pair are any kind of bother at all. Also, I think it's also safe to say that you know Harry and Meghan are absolutely enraged by that, by the way. They're so desperate for attention. They are so desperate for. They really are like a couple of toddlers who just act up when they don't get, they act horrible just to you know, so you'll notice. It's anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. You let me know your thoughts in the comments, as always and, do please give the video a like. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and, as always, I would certainly appreciate it if you turned on your notifications, thanks for spending time with me, stay happy and healthy, and I'll catch you in the